One of the things I like about the Kong Mini Long is that it comes from a long heritage of synths that I really like and for some reason I've just liked using Kong synths for a long time. There are many parts of the Mini Long which remind me of the Kong Monopoly and I've been using the Monopoly when it, from some of my first earliest gigs and that was a very interesting experience because it had four oscillators just like this one has dual oscillators and you could actually change the key mode. Now that since is no longer in production, it's been gone for years. I mean, you'd have to look for it in a second-hand shop in Japan or something. But it lives on in software and I've been using the Korg Legacy Monopoly in its VST form and also in its standalone form. And the great advantage of that is that it can store all the patches. Unlike when I first used the original Monopoly and I had to reprogram every sound in between every song. Now it's got everything programmed as well as additional parameters and effects. So that's all in the box, uh, Korg Legacy Series together with the Korg M1 and the Korg Wave Station. Fantastic sounding since they still sound great. Now completely available in software from Korg. After the Monopoly, also loved using since like the Poly 800 which was a portable you could strap it on of course those days are long gone we shall not try doing that again but it was fun back in the day and there was another aspect to this mini log which reminded me of the sound of the cork prophecy and from time to time cork creates these scenes where you just press it once and you say wow that is a great sound the prophecy was a synth like that and that's when I remember I came and I first heard it. I just pressed one finger down on the prophecy and it whoa! And then I called Jane, who's the lead singer of Cosmic Armchair, and I said, You have to come and hear this. And she came and she heard it on oh, one finger. I said, Okay, we got to get this for the band. So that was the Cork Prophecy, another excellent Cork synth. So today, the Cork gear that we have includes the Mini Log and the Korg Legacy series on software and we're also using the Korg Tactile as a main controller because we do a lot of work in the studio as Cosmic Armchair with our Ableton Live digital audio workstation and VST software synthesizers and the good thing about the Tactile is that it has all the controllers you need it has knobs, it has faders, it has pads, it has keyboards it has built-in arpeggiation. It has a record button right next to the keyboard so I can trigger off my Ableton Live recording without having to find the mouse. So the fact that I can now mix with actual faders instead of having to drive a mouse is such a great advantage. It maps automatically to Ableton Live with a preset that's actually built here into the tactile. And the keyboard has a great feel. So we're very happy to use this in the studio and also live. Over the years, we've also used other Korg gear like the Korg Micro Station, which is a very convenient synth for bringing on the road if you need all your instrument sounds in one device and you also want the, the sequencing and recording in one piece. Basically, we've been using Korg gear for a really long time and we really like it. So we're very happy to keep on using it. And I've been using the CMEX key and I really like it. When I'm out of the studio and I'm on the road, if I still want to be writing songs for Cosmic Armchair and working on arrangements, it's very useful because it's at a small form factor that fits into a backpack. I can throw it in with a laptop and then if I'm in an airport lounge or even in a hotel room, I can still work on arrangements on the songs. And when we go on stage, it's also very helpful because it fits on a table together with the rest of the gear we have and it's very solid. Even though the form factor is slim, which helps it fit into my luggage, it's sturdy and it has a hook kind of design so that the keyboard remains in place on the table even when we're playing really intensely and moving the keyboard a lot, it stays stable.
And the fact that it has all the buttons like octave up and down, pitch bend and modulation conveniently arranged at the side allows for a lot of expressivity as well when playing, when we play live as Cosmic Armchair. So we're very happy with the CME X key and very happy to be using it. We just played at City Music Live. At the City Music Showroom and we had a great time. And if you are a singer-songwriter, a musician or anything you'd like to share about music, we'd really love to see you here too at the next City Music Live. We had a great time because of the hospitality of the people at City Music and also because it's a great venue. There's all the gear that you could possibly want to play and great sound. So, and a great audience as well. So you're going to have fun if you come and share your music and your musical journey at City Music Live. So hope to see you at the next City Music Live.